Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we have a very interesting update coming from the folks at Adobe, the current owners of Substance Painter. So we've seen a couple of these things come over to Substance Painter and this time we're getting some major updates or some major features and one of them gets to do with the new wrap projection. Now, despite that, we are also getting another one which is an improved color picker and of course, Finally, we're getting some other improvements that you would definitely like to take a look at. And for those who like to look at the release notes and see some of the things that's been fixed, some of the known issues and also some of the updates, you may want to go over to the link in the description and check it out. So with Substance Painter simply opened right here, what you have is the very default uh, thing. Of course, if you've been following up with Substance development, you would notice that the UI has been changed. So you have your assets right here, your layer, your texture set settings, your properties live right here. So the new update that is now available actually allows you do some pretty cool things. So one of them is the wrap. So we've already taken a look at what the release note looks like. And the very first one is the new wrap projection. So how this one works is very simple. If you, for example, select any of the texture set, since we're working with one, and you throw in a few layer, and for this example, if I go in and throw in a red color, you can see that we have a red color right here. Now with this red color going on, we can now go over to any of these things that would like to use and drive as a mask. So in case you would like to drive a, you know, you want to drive a mask or use any of this to drive a mask, you can now do that. So if I go all the way down and click, drag and hover right on top, once I let go, you notice it gives me an option to actually place this object in one of these six parameters. So I can either make this a base color, a height map, a metallic map, normal roughness or a mask. So if I would like to make this a mask, I can click and say I would like this to be a mask. And with that, I can now select this tiny handle right here and move these around. So in this case, you can now drop your mask directly onto your viewport and you would notice that it wraps around the edges. Now the wrapping around is where the whole thing becomes even way more fun to work with. So at this point, you would also notice that once we are moving around this and we get to a point like this, you see it begins to fade off, fades off a bit like that and jumps out and you might want to have more control. So what in case you want to scale this, you want to play with this and get some good result out of it. So how you can do this now is with a brand new set of tools that exist on the top. So with these tools, you can click on this and you can scale this. You can click to make a simple rotation and for sure you can position this wherever you want it to be. Now for those who would like to also do even way more stuff with this, you would notice that we have a wrapping transform that can help you transform the wraps however you want. And if you click on this button, you can also edit the vertices. So how do you edit this? If we, for example, choose to scale this all the way up to a point like this, you'd notice that it doesn't follow through to this point. So what you might want to do is, you know, scale it some more. And you also notice that it doesn't follow through to that point. Now, there are a couple of things that you can do with this one. You can go over to this section where you have the property and push the projection depth and this would project it all the way in by simply forcing the projection handles all the way in. And this could be nice for some results, but for some other results, you might actually want to play with the vertices. So what you can do is with that here, you can actually go over to this wrap button right over here and click on edit vertices. Now, once you click on that, you can see all these tiny nodes, which you can click and drag and position this how you want them to be. So in this case, we can get this all the way to this point. And now you can see we can easily proceed to wrap this thing how we want. So this is going to be very, very useful for most people that would want to get things up and running. So you can also project this and just simply use this to get the best out of it. So let's go ahead and do this other one and then get this one right there. So you can see how easy it is for you to just, you know, use the vertices and wrap these around your model. Now, at any point in time, you would like to play with the scale, offset this, repeat the pattern as much as you want. You can, of course, go ahead and do that. Now, something else that makes a lot of sense, despite the fact that you can do all of this now, is in most cases, you might also want to get an additional point. Maybe you, you know, maybe you're trying to create something, you want to get an additional point or an additional node around here that can actually help you wrap this properly onto a surface. Yes, you can. So if you click on this drop down, you would notice that we have a split wrap crosswise. So if we click on that, you can see it splits the wrap 
in a plus way or in a crosswise section. So that simply means that if we drop this right about a point like that, we'll have a point here, a point here, a point there, and also another one down here. Now, if you'd also want to split wrap this horizontally or vertically, yes, you can. So you can also get this and, you know, wrap that or split it vertically and you can also split this horizontally so what this gives you is the option of having multiple points so that you can tweak your wraps to fit into the objects that you're working on so this is definitely something that will be very useful for most of you guys and of course if you like to throw in some tiling you can tile this and get some very pretty and brilliant results with it so this is one of the things that you can do now, the next thing which you can do with this is this simple stuff. So if we go over to the body and let's say, for example, we we'll like to play with a mask or maybe we just want to play with something else. So I'm just going to go all the way down and grab. Uh, let's see, what can we get now? So we can we can grab any of these things as a height map. So what we can do is we can simply click on this, click and drag onto those objects because we have this texture set selected drop it in and then select the word height so what happens is we can now get this particular object right on top here but now it is our height map and the very same thing that we can do with the wrap is exactly the same thing that we can do with this now if you remember the last time when we were talking about this we said once we move this down you would notice that some parts doesn't fit in so you can either select these and go all the way to the edit vertices to drag this in and play with the vertices or you can go all the way and use the project depth to actually or the projection depth to get these things to work so this way you can get that perfect projection that you want to work with now in most cases you guys may want to also have fun working with this you know do some very interesting things with it and these options are also available so if you also go all the way here you would notice that we have a uv wrap we have the repeat horizontally repeat vertically and the repeat so if you select the repeat you can repeat this however you want if you like to repeat this you know horizontally you can do that if you also like to repeat this vertically you can also do that now this is definitely for those who like to repeat this over and over and you can also choose to play with the type of projection that you want so a good place where this repeat thing can actually work very well is if you go over to the wrap projection and you choose to select cylindrical projection so you can see it's beginning to give it that mummy sort of feel and we can also play with the angle so we can get something very cool and you can also choose to select just simple repeat and also play with it to get something even way cooler so depending on what you want to create you can have fun working with this so for those who like to also set this back to none and maybe you want to set this to uv projection or maybe you just want to set it just to feel the uvs you have all the things and you can start playing with them to get the most out of it this would definitely help you start creating things really really quick and faster with substance painter now something else which also makes a lot of sense that is a brand new update to this tool is this now if we go in and we throw in a fill layer let's just bring that fill layer all the way down you now have a brand new reworked color picker so how this color picker works is exactly how the color picker in photoshop and illustrator works so if i drag this all the way down now and if i click on this color section i can click on the eyedropper tool and now go ahead to find the color i want now this color doesn't necessarily need to live within your app as you can actually find colors across different apps and you know across different places so if we jump back over to substance where we have a lot of cool colors and then we open up this we can click and let's actually drag this all the way to this point so we can click and hold down and go all the way to this particular set of green or maybe this particular color right here or this color or this color so depending on the kind of colors that you want as far as it leaves within your desktop space you can select these colors and substance recognize them and use them for you so this is something that is very very cool and of course it is something that the folks at adobe have actually implemented and it looks super super nice so this is more like it for those who like to get substance maybe you want to get this perpetually you can simply come through and get this right here on steam or you can proceed to come over here and get the 50 percent off for these things that are right here if your country is not within a countries that have embargoes or you know it's not subjected to the united states embargo then you should be good to go let's take a look and see what we can get with the united states you 
USA or just United States. Let's do that. All right, you can see this is how much we get to pay per month and this is what you have to pay for a year. So this is more like it. For those who like to get this, for those who like to read up on this, I'm going to put a link in the description that can bring you right here where you can check out some of the interesting and incredible features that Substance 7.3, as it's called right now, has to offer. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you learned something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And if you're new here, it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notification so that you don't miss the next video or the next update. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.